welcome to ESPN Quick Info Dailies. My name is Isha Acton and our top stories for today are England recall Curran and Moen for the fourth test. Coley raises concerns over a 100 ball format. Murtagh helps Ireland level the series. And West Indies drop Devon Smith for the India tests. Starting with some cricket news from the UK, England captain Joe Root again announced his playing 11 a day before the test the fourth one of a five-match series that begins Thursday in Southampton. Johnny Bairstow will play as a specialist batsman, while Joss Butler will keep wickets. England have recalled Sam Curran for Chris Wokes and Moeen Ali, who's just struck a county double hundred in place of Ollie Pope. Yeah, I mean, he's in fine form, isn't he? He's gone back to his county, and what you want from international players is to go back and, and sort of prove a point and, and to really stand out, and that's exactly what Moeen's done last couple of weeks um, no, and he, he's, he seems in a really good place. So, With Ashwin fully recovering from his niggle, there is a strong chance that Coley will field an unchanged Test 11 for the first time as captain. You know, it's not always been the case of changes. There have been injuries as well, which, which has not been taken into consideration. So I think it's been a mix of both. Seeing things the way they are right now, we, we don't feel we need to change anything. Sticking with Coley news, the India captain has shared in an interview that he's hurt by the commercial side of cricket taking over the real quality of the game and has raised concerns over the 100 ball format that was proposed by the ECB. That said, Kohli has backed T20 leagues while adding that he isn't open to the concept of experimenting with yet another format. Kohli urged cricket boards to improve quality of first class cricket 100 ball format starting in 2020. 20 deliveries lesser than traditional T20 matches. The ECB had unveiled plans for the 100 ball competition in April and it involved each match of 15 six ball overs with the final over of 10 balls. Moving on to cricket news from Ireland. Ireland fast bowler Tim Murtug, all of 37, had his finest day on the field with the ball as he picked four wickets against Afghanistan in the second ODI on Wednesday. Playing in their 100th game, the visitors had slumped to 16 for 4 before going on to bat a full 50 overs. In reply, the Irishmen were going steady, with under 40 runs to go before Rashid Khan struck twice to take the match to a thrilling end. Eventually, it was the calmness of Simi Singh, which saw the host through for their first victory against Afghanistan in this tour. Asghar Afghan's side, having clinched the T20Is, will seek to do the same in the ODIs in the third and final match on Friday. Finishing with some cricket news from the West Indies. Cricket West Indies have announced their 15-player squad to play two tests in India starting October. Jason Holder's team will be without opener Devon Smith, who managed just two 50s in five recent tests. A name that comes back to the outfit is that of Sunil Ambris, who had good scores against India A last month. Their pace battery of Shannon Gabriel, Kamar Roach and Alzari Joseph will be expected to continue their form on what would be challenging conditions in India. It's a full tour that the West Indies are preparing for. They'll play five ODIs, three T20Is and proceed to Bangladesh thereafter. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.